Welcome to the official Windows 8 channel and today we're going to have another back to the basics video and we're going to take a look once again at the charms bar in Windows 8.1. Uh, the charms bar is one of those controversial things in Windows 8.1 and you either love it or hate it but whatever you do you will need to use it from time to time. Um, more if you use the modern look of Windows 8.1 with apps. Uh, maybe a little bit less if you are more into the desktop and if you use a program like Classic Shell for example. But one day or the other you will still need to use the charms bar. How do you get the charms bar? If you have a touch device you can swipe from the right edge of your screen into the screen and you will have the charms bar pop up. Um, on some laptops, the trackpad actually has a charms bar available if you uh, slide from the right edge of the trackpad into the trackpad. Uh, many, many laptops have the charms bar available from uh, swiping from the edge. So that's something you can do with the trackpad on the laptop. If uh, you want to use a shortcut, you can use the Windows key, that famous little Windows key on the bottom left of your keyboard. And while you're holding the Windows key, press C. And this will also bring the charms bar uh, on the right side of your screen. And finally, if you're using keyboard and mouse, you can also have the charms bar by going into the corners on the right side of your screen, where you'll see the famous charms bar appear. So what does it do? Well, the charms bar has many options. First of all, it has search, which is a very powerful search. It searches not only in your computer, but it searches the web. It searches for pretty much everything you want to look for. So if you're looking for a picture, a folder that you know the name of, you can search it here. If you're looking for a feature in Windows, you can search it here. For example, if I want to uninstall a program, I can uh, just click on install program and you know you'll have programs and features show up or uninstall a program show up and you can click on it and you'll be sent to the right place so it's a very powerful search uh, never forget the charms bar search is very very nice you have a share button the share button works with different apps for example if you are on a picture uh, app you can click share and it's going to give you options on sharing with mail for example if you want to send an email with an attachment a picture as an attachment or a file um, so it you know depending on what you're doing in a computer you can share different things with different people so if you are in for example a news article on the uh, news app in windows 8.1 well going into the charms bar and clicking share will give you some information of what you can share. So here, open an article and you see what we can share. So it gives you an idea here of what to do. So you can click, for example, an article in that news app. And once the article is open, you will have a possibility of getting it um, into the share. So for example, here's the, let's just go again, a little, uh, here we go. So this is the article. If I click share, it gives you an idea that I can share this with Facebook, mail, music, OneNote, people, reading list, Twitter. So it really, really is very complete. Um, what it does not do is share with programs that are not apps. So it's really, really something that works with modern apps mostly. Also in the charms bar, you have the start button, which will alternate between, for example, the desktop or the start screen or it will um, you go from an app to the start screen or uh, you know depending on the config of your machine it's the button that will help you go back to the start screen anyway if you ever want to then you get devices devices is where for example let's go back to the news app here for example i have that news article open if I go into the devices, it's going to ask me if I want to play a video, if there's a video on the page. I can print and project, which will let me share, for example, with other 
types of uh, programs or devices. So this is really, for example, where you would like to print out something and it's going to ask you what printer you want to use. Now here it says this app can't print because they don't want you to print an article. But if I go to, say, the mail app uh, in my computer, so I'm going to use the search mail and then click mail. In that mail app, I will have, um, you know, possibility to go into devices and select print. And here it's going to say, okay, where do you want to print? On my HP LaserJet or I can send to OneNote. So this is how you print basically from uh, an app when you don't really know by going to the charms bar. Um, you know, I admit it's kind of complicated and it really changes the way things work. And it's probably not as easy as having, you know, that printer icon in an app. But that's pretty much how Microsoft did this with the charms bar. And finally, you have the settings tab. And the settings is always dependent on where you are. For example, here if I click on the start screen, I'll be sent to the regular settings of my computer. And if I go to an app, for example, the news app once again, and click settings, now I have the options and the information that is all the settings basically of my mail, my uh, news app. If I go into my mail app, um, well, what's going to happen is if I go to mail once again, I'm in my email program and the settings are now dependent on the email app. So I have accounts for the email app and so on and different options. So uh, that's where you have pretty much the settings of pretty much every app and everything. So that's why it's a little complicated. For example, the, one of the main questions, how do I log off Facebook, is very popular on my channel for one reason, is that there's no uh, log off or exit button. You have to click settings before. So that's pretty much the charms bar, and it is useful for many things, and hope that you use it um, you know, regularly because uh, it really simplifies life. But, uh, you know, sometimes there are a few things that are kind of weird and a little complicated. If you enjoy our videos, want to subscribe to our channel, you'll be informed when new videos are online. If you have any comments, questions on what you've seen, let us know. Maybe you have an app, maybe you have something you'd like us to make a video of, let us know. We'll try to put that video online. And hopefully, if you have that new Windows 8 device, you'll want to take a peek at our videos that will help you learn more about Windows. Thanks for watching.